welcome back to the channel guys i hope your day is going well thank you for joining back as always uh to watch the video i appreciate every single one of you uh, so yesterday that one uh, you know obviously went down coach finidi signing uh the contract to become a just like this head coach in that event that was held in abuja and uh you know we saw a lot of uh dignitaries attending that one the minister of sports nfs president uh, obviously showed up for that one we need to pen the deal officially yesterday to become and just like this head coach and uh you know there there have been lots of talking points related to that one and one of the talking points one of the issues you know right now is the issue concerning the salary of course uh, I mentioned in the last video that Finidi is set to earn 15 million naira every month for the deal. Uh, but, you know, different media have obviously uh, posted their different uh, salary uh, findings, you know, from the deal. The thing is, NFF didn't, didn't exactly uh, allow every information in the contract to be uh, let out to the public. It's just a very, uh, very, very limited uh, um, uh, you know, amount of information that they are actually willing to give out. Uh, the contract duration, the contract duration, of course, was uh, not very, not stated uh, categorically, but, you know, it's understood right now that it's going to be for a period of two years. You know, that's what, uh, you know, popular uh, media have now uh, published, like the likes of Score Nigeria and, and all of that. Uh, they are saying that it's going to be two years uh, due for Coach Finidi. But again, the salary aspect is something else that, you know, that has met a lot of uh, talks. Uh, why some people feel that it's not enough to actually pay him 15 million. There should be more than that, considering what foreign coaches get. Some people, you know, feel that it's, you know, it, it's, it's a... Uh, it's a good progress. It's a good step, you know, going forward because we've not had any uh, uh, home-based coach actually receive that amount of money. But the, what does Coach Finidi think about this? Because he's the one that actually signed the contract and he's the one that's going to uh, be paid the money. So what does he think about it? Finidi is not exactly bothered by the salary situation. At least that's what he's now come out to say. Uh, you know, he's, he's, he's said that uh, the, the, you know, the, the, the talks about salary and how much he's going to earn is not something that is uh, giving him a problem or sleepless night at this moment because he feels that, uh, you know, he has, he as a coach now that has been appointed has to offer value to the team. He has to bring something to the table, uh, uh, you know, because that's what Nigerians want. That's what NFF wants. So Finidi, you know, is obviously saying that he is you know, setting his mind on working, bringing value to the team, actually winning matches, qualifying us to the uh, World Cup. This is what he is fully focused on right now. And uh, when he gets these things done, then uh, the money is going to come, obviously. Uh, you know, he talks about Minister of Sports and NFF presidents that they would definitely reach out to him if they are seeing the results from, uh, you know, from the games that we will, that we will be playing. Coach Finidi just wants to work, and uh, you know he believes that when he get when he starts getting the result, then obviously money is going to come, you know, from the hard work. For the next update, guys, let me let you know that uh, Manugaba and his uh, under 17 uh, Golden Eaglets have now, uh, you know, settled in Ghana. Of course, I, I mentioned in the last video that you know they are obviously obviously now in Ghana for the Wafu uh, competition, and uh, you know right now they, they they've you know they've actually. Uh, been doing some sort of activities. Uh, for example, they trained yesterday, uh, you know, at the Adirigano Field. Uh, that's the name. Uh, the same field where John Pansil, John Pansil's Academy trains. So they actually uh, are sharing stadium with John Pansil Academy. But they trained yesterday. Very int intensive training, of course. And then, uh, you know, they are going to also have a training today around 4 p.m. That's the report. So Madagaba and his team will definitely want to, you know, work very hard, get themselves fit, uh, you know, for that game that they are going to play this Thursday against uh, Burkina Faso. Of course, on Sunday, they, are off, they also have their next match, which is against uh, Niger, uh, Niger Republic. The, 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 the Thursday game is going to be around 4 p.m. Uh, for that one and we wish them all the best uh, of course i seriously hope that us controversies will not affect their their performances and their results uh in the competition but moving on guys let me let you know that 
as we prepare for our World Cup uh, qualifiers games against South Africa uh, next month, there have been you know a number of injury issues that we've been having lately. Of course, I talked about uh, Samuel Chukwueze uh, in the, the previous video, uh, having a thigh problem to one of his uh, knees. And right now, there hasn't really been you know a lot of positive talks coming out from that one, especially about the, how long it's going to take. There hasn't really been any clarity from AC Milan about that one. Instead of that, we've had you know uh, if, if a few injury complaints coming up again. The likes of Victor Simba is now uh, the latest to join in, in the long list of injury that we have uh, right now. Uh, of course, Osime. Uh, missed their training this Monday after the game against Bologna, which they sadly lost uh, uh, 2-0. And uh, the following day, uh, missed their training uh, at Napoli. And this has, you know, obviously uh, bring in the doubts about whether or not the Sima is going to be available for our, for our World Cup games uh, going forward. But again, there hasn't really been more clarity on this one. There's still a couple of uh, weeks at least two weeks uh, you know two three weeks until uh, the game but uh, Osime at this moment is a major doubt for that game because of uh, the fact that he has not been able to train uh, because he has uh, a bit of a, a muscle strain that's what they are calling it muscle strain but hopefully you know in the coming in the coming hours we uh, hope to get some clarity about uh, the real issue with uh, Victor Osime. Of course, you know we have a number of players, the likes of Moses Simon, I mentioned him, still recovering, not fully fit. Uh, we have the likes of Zebu Sanusi also uh, not available because of injury. And then uh, Bruno Onyemechi is another player that has uh, now reported uh, to be injured. After his uh, Boavista side uh, in Portugal actually uh, reported that he's going to miss out the rest of the season because of a, a recent new injury that he has just uh, got. Uh, it's not looking really nice for us. We have at least like, you know, five or six players who are out or who are struggling with uh, injury or fitness uh, issue uh, ahead of this South African game. But again, more updates is going to definitely come out as we draw close to the date that we're going to play these games. But that's the update for this moment. Thank you for watching. And as always, uh, like and share the video. Subscribe if you've not done so. Make sure to comment to any of the stories that you feel uh, connected to. Uh, have a lovely day, guys, and stay tuned to the channel.